Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com, and this is going to be a quick look at the HPI Performance Aluminum Steering Rack Set for the Blitz short course truck. And this video is sponsored by URC Forums member Rodney, on whose truck this is actually going to be installed. Here are the aluminum parts that are included. They're anodized in the same color that uh, matches some of the aluminum parts on the Blitz ESE and ESE Pro kits. And bearings, lots of bearings. Eight of them will be installed. I'm sure my servo will be happy to see that. And then here there's actually a different stiffer spring that's included, much, much stiffer than the standard unit included with the regular kit. These instructions will show you everything you need to do to disassemble and remove your stock steering rack, install the new one, and get everything back into tip-top shape. God, that feels good. And it looks great too. Although, of course, it better given its $80 price tag for this set. Now, the standard mounting hole for the inner toe link uh, ball studs will actually cause a little bit of, of rubbing there. You can see between the turnbuckle and the shock. So, to fix that, you will want to mount your ball studs to the rearmost hole, the number two hole in the instructions. Incidentally, they also say that that will give you more aggressive steering. So there it is, all installed, a real thing of beauty. Matches the color scheme of the other ESE parts. Very little slop in there. Now it's time to see if it'll actually perform on the track. Now, after watching this footage a couple of times, I realized that if you weren't there, if you weren't at the controls of this vehicle both before and after the installation of this steering upgrade kit, you probably won't be able to tell by looking at the video just what the difference in performance is. Thankfully, I was there and I was able to get the actual feeling of it in my hands and feel the the responsiveness and see how quickly it responded, see how exactly it's responding in turns and, and what the difference is back to back between the two. And I can tell you 100% for sure that this one upgrade, I didn't change anything else on the vehicle whatsoever, but just this one upgrade did completely remove the sponginess, the kind of springiness that this HPI Blitz ESE Pro steering column had in it. That's it. It's just gone. It's not there anymore. I've, like I said, I've not changed anything else on this vehicle. Now, I am still running M2 compounds, so longer lasting, harder, lower traction tires uh, in this test. And the same that I was when I first did my review of this same vehicle on both of these same track surfaces. So I am traction limited, and that's both at the front and the rear. I'm having to be a little bit careful on the throttle so as not to fishtail. And also, when I steer at a, at a certain level, if there's not enough traction, if it's not completely clean on that part of the track, I do get some push just from tire scrub. What I'm not getting anymore is the back and forth undulation while driving through a single corner over one track surface with just a consistent surface underneath the tires. It's something that I had before. It kind of felt like a tracks a slash a little bit in the way that the stock components would uh, would grip a little bit and then would give way a little bit would grip you'd actually feel it kind of wavering back and forth and that is completely gone now I can't tell the difference in smoothness that's been added by those extra four flanged bearings that are that are uh, connecting the bell cranks to the tie bar it's, a, it's definitely a nice thing to have. You can feel it in your hands during the assembly process. You can feel it after it's assembled if you just move it back and forth. But on the track, I have no way of, of telling whether I had those bearings in there or not. That's just not something that's really affecting performance as long as you have a servo that has enough strength to turn the wheels. And I'm using a good servo here, plenty of torque, plenty of speed, it's good enough for racing, so that is not an issue. What is a big help here is that stiffer spring that's included in the servo saver portion of it. Also, the aluminum, the use of aluminum 
for the bell cranks removes that flexible part which I pointed out in my original review of this HPI Blitz ESE Pro kit. So now where you turn the servo that's where the tires are going to point. Everything else is up to tire selection and setup. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments be sure to post them up in the short course forum at ultimatercom Thank you.